you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I stole all the applause for myself. It's not fair. But uh, you're going to get full value for money very, very soon as I'm joined on stage by my two friends. First of all, joining me on stage tonight is going to be Arms, who's just here. Please give him a round of applause. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, he's so dreamy. Oh. Look at that rotation. Wow. Look at that rotation. He's above average height. Yes. We love it. And right after Arms, <laughs> we have Hog, who's just over here. Oh, no. Brilliant! Oh, no. What a privilege! Okay. Uh, the boys will be joining me on stage very, very shortly. Uh, before that happens, I just have a couple of quick things to say. First of all, thank you very much for coming along. It's great to see people out of live comedy again. Yay. Thank you. Hey. Real life! We're Real back, people. baby! We're back! Yeah! Look at that. Right. Sitting beside strangers. What's your name, Paul? Paul. Where, where are you from, Paul? Oh, he's from Cork. <laughs> oh. Yes, you are. <laughs> and not Dublin, and that's important. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you do in Cork, Paul? What did you do in Cork? On the buildings. On the buildings? Yeah. Very vague. <laughs> I'm on the buildings. I'm not meant to be there, but... but uh, <laughs> ripping I'm there. The yeah. <laughs> Climbing the cranes, pissed out of my mind. <laughs> The girls have caught me twice. <laughs> Arra. 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 Suspended right. sentence. Sure, it's grand. <laughs> what, what's your Janie Moyley doing on, on the buildings? Four man, I see your church. You're telling people what to do and, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Jesus. <laughs> That'd suit somebody yeah. from Cork. They like that. <laughs> I just told you, back to the stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen us before, guys, we would love it if you guys would sing the song that brings us on stage to start the show properly. You cool to do that? One, one no. <laughs> That's dented my confidence a little bit, but still, we're pushing on. Okay, it's a very simple song, I'm gonna teach it to you now. The only difficult part is at the end of the song, um, we're gonna announce ourselves onto the stage to start the show properly, and if you wouldn't mind going from singing the song as loud as you can, to then clap and cheer and whoop and stamp your feet, make as much noise as possible, that'll be absolutely brilliant. Someone's already ready to go. Okay, so, um, how will you stay in time together? Because I'm not gonna be on the stage. This is oh, yeah. a problem that we've had at uh, previous shows, but this show, what we do is we ask, uh, we try and find like a, a, a volunteer co conductor, I suppose, for the whole entire crowd. Oh no, there's no way it's gonna be here if you're at no. Okay, um... <laughs> Let's see. Do, uh, do we need a woman? Yeah. Great question. At the moment we're looking for a conductor, but uh, we'll talk to you later. Um... <laughs> if, that, if that job description comes up... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll let you know. Foil, th th this woman here is pointing at this man here. So I think it should be her. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the bully. Yeah. She's, no, you're sorry now, aren't you? Aren't you? She's actually turned her seat away. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name, ma'am? What's your name there? Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy. I'm Dor Dorothy. Dorothy. I'm not in Kansas anymore. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no not at all. <laughs> Are you talking about Kansas County Tyrone? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy. Do, do you have any musical experience? None. You're perfect. All right, Dorothy. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. if you wouldn't mind just standing up where you are, you don't need to come up here. You can just stand up where you're seated there. Let everybody say hello to Dorothy. It is Dorothy. Oh, you're a chair. <laughs> There's Lady Dorothy. Okay. Uh, maybe don't sit down just yet, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> right. It's a very simple job we have for you, Dorothy. You're the conductor, so it's just going to be something like this to keep everybody in time. I'm going to teach them all the tune right now, and uh, you guys join in as soon as you can. Then I'm going to hand over all eyes on Dorothy. You're in control, everybody, tonight. You got... Look at that. Look at the confidence. <laughs> She's got the, the black leather assassin's gloves. She's ready to go. All right. Uh, for everyone else, here's the song. Join in as soon as you can, all right? A doom da pa doom da pa doom da pa diddly da pa doom da pa doom da pa doom da pa diddly da pa Oh, lots more volume there for Dorothy. Let's bring it up. All eyes on Dorothy now. Oh, louder again. We're filming for God's sake. Louder. Lovely. Beautiful work, guys. Dorothy, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Thank you very much, Dorothy.
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and you are all very, very welcome along tonight to the world's strongest man competition, the mime edition. <laughs> Joining us in tonight's final, two of the world's greatest mimes will go head to head for this wonderful title. They have spent many, many months in the gym preparing for this event, watching other people lifting weights. But it all comes down to tonight. Oh, Jesus. All right, man. I don't know who you were watching, buddy, but... Uh, <laughs> they were doing it wrong, okay? Let's meet tonight's contestants. On the right-hand side, in the short sleeve shirt, we have Von Hammerschmidt. Von Hammerschmidt tonight will be miming a six-foot-eight Icelandic giant. He is, of course, a much, much smaller Irish man. His opponent this evening, McCrudden. McCrudden, the local favorite, the bad boy of mine, making his third appearance in a final. He is still looking for his first win, but in the form of his life. He blows a kiss to his imaginary girlfriend in the front row. She is looking absolutely beautiful tonight in his mind. We come to the first event of the evening, the deadlift. Up first, we have Von Hammerschmidt. He approaches the bar. Of course, in mime, nobody knows how heavy the weights really are. So it'll all come down to technique. Let's see what Von Hammerschmidt can do. No, he's not happy. He backs away. Not feeling it. He's right now. This is a very important lift, this first one. He has to get settled. And here comes the lift. Von Hammerschmidt. No, he's not happy again. He backs away. Oh, he wants the crowd on side. He wants to build the atmosphere in the room. I can't blame him. And here comes the lift. That's wonderful. That's nice tight control. It's a clutch position. And up, locking out. Wonderful. Very realistic. And the judges love the realism there. That is what we were after now. Von Hammerschmidt absolutely exhausted from doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Well, the physical manifestation of that exhaustion there. And into the fray comes McCrudden for his first attempt. For some reason tonight, he's brought two sheep. We're not quite sure why, but uh, his mascot, bam, bam, and off they go. He raised them from lambs. Now, here we are. The first lift of the evening. And that is an unusually high bar for a deadlift. Perhaps trying to seal a couple of feet on his opponent there. No, he, no, no. Excuse me, he's lowering the bar in every respect at the start of the show. That's nice to see. <laughs> Let's see what he can do from here now. McCrudden, no. No, he, no he's not happy. He's, he's backing off. He's, what's he up to here? Oh, he's adding weights to the bar, yes. He's obviously feeling very, very confident tonight. He's going again now. He is very confident, and now a heavier weight, so the bar, of course, unevenly weighted now. <laughs> oh, what incredible strength. He walked straight through the bar. That was... <laughs> he brushes that one off. Oh, now he's picking up his girlfriend. A little kiss of encouragement. Nice to see. They are engaged to be married, of course. An event coming up very soon. And no, he's impaling her on the bar. <laughs> to even out the weights, a fierce competitor. He will stop at nothing. He comes back to the bar, which is it again in a new position. <laughs> no, he's back. No, okay, there we go. It's still a little high, I would say. <laughs> but that's good. Okay, here we go. The first lift from a <laughs> Okay, he's up into a T-Rex early on. <laughs> it's not very realistic. <laughs> Onto the neck. We're looking for realism here now with the judge marking system. And now he's struggling to get it over the head. What's he going to do here? He has to lock this one out. He's bringing it up. He's bringing... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know this about mime, but it is incredibly difficult to mime sweat patches. <laughs> However, <laughs> if you are in any doubt as to the level of commitment this man has so early in the competition, it is written large on his armpits right now. Now, one-handed, no, you can't do that. No, that's not realistic. He's twirling it. No one is buying into this. This is completely, he's now playing basketball with it. Von Hammerschmidt does not like what he sees here. He's throwing it away. He now, he takes his girlfriend off the bar, puts her back into the crowd. She is, of course, dead. <laughs> now, folks, before we continue, we are honored tonight to be joined by last year's world's strongest mime, a fierce, fierce competitor. His nickname, of course, was the foreman. Paul, it's great to have you in here tonight. Uh, such a tough competitor. 
Your retirement came as a shock to all of us, really, but uh, wonderful to see you here supporting this great art form. How do you think tonight's final is going, Paul? And that's an awful lot to say for a mime, Paul. Uh, he's really fallen out of practice in his retirement, but it's great to have you here. The guys, of course, massive fans watched you uh, when they were growing up. Now, the second event is the Atlas Stone. These giant heavy boulders have to be lifted onto the pedestal. Look first, Von Hammerschmidt. He really is so technical, it's beautiful to watch. Okay, and that's nice, tight control, rolling the boulder onto the chest. Sidling across to, oh my God! Oh Jesus, he's dislocated his shoulder. This is absolutely gruesome stuff right here. Flailing around him. And the second shoulder gone now, the boulder hits the floor. He is making this so much more difficult than it actually has to be. He flails at the boulder, but it's just not gonna work out. And that's very sad to see. He's gonna have to forfeit the rounds. Limp noodle-like arms. And it's, it's very sad to see. McCrudden coming across now to, he's offering condolences. Ah, uh, he knew, he knew what he was doing there. He is the bad boy of mime, of course. He has a reputation. His father before him was a very, very well-known, popular mime. So of course, growing up, McCrudden was poor. Now, the Atlas Stone for McCrudden. He's decided to go for a very uneven Atlas Stone tonight. No, it was his girlfriend, excuse me. I. I misread the situation. Now, he's choking up his hands. Goes, oh, the chalk from unsportsmanlike conduct there. No, no goggles. Very clever. Okay. Throws him into the crowd. They are not caught. We don't like to see that at a mime event, but um, much better, much better. <laughs> and now the Atlas Stone from McCrudden. Let's see what he can do here. Oh. No, he wants the crowd on side. Of course he does. He deserves as much. A great competitor. No, he, no he's, not, he's not happy here. He's not happy. No, he's not quite sure what's going on there. He wants to go again. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll stop it there. And can we just say that that is a very large percentage of the crowd um, not getting the joke. Um, <laughs> It's quite worrying very early on when we're not using words. Um, so, I might try that one again. What the fuck? Okay, no, 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 well, we, gotta, we gotta put it there. We gotta put it there. No, that was just, that was shocking. Look, we're not, we're not in the business of going around and singling people out who got it wrong, but you got it wrong right there. That was appalling. <laughs> you have to do so much less than you think. That's the, that's the clue here. We, we try one more time? Okay, here we go. The beautiful sound of near silence, near silence still, ringing in McGrudden's ears. Let's see what he can do here on the Atlas Stone. That's the support he needs tonight. And here we go. He's feeling very confident. Look at those moves. Clearly he hasn't attended a dance class. That's great stuff. <laughs> And here it goes, that's the Atlas Stone lift. That is nice, it's nice and realistic, more so than the last round. That's what the judges are after here, he's slowly bringing it up, up, no, 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 you can't, no, you can't lift an Atlas Stone over your head, that's completely ridiculous. He, now he's balancing it on his tongue. No one is buying into this, it's completely ridiculous in every way. He's volleying it up into the air now, he's, oh, he's, he's eating it, I think, and okay, there's no need for that. There is no requirement for that whatsoever, now he's, now he's knocking on a door, he opens the door, he gives the finger to his opponent. That is not classy at all. The finger returned there by Von Hammerschmidt. The door opened, the oh, finger fired right back one more time. What's he? Oh, very clever, yes. He knows his opponent is such a technical mime, you will always believe in a locked door. Searching around now for a key or anything really to jimmy the lock. And in comes Von Hammerschmidt. <laughs> McCrudden, very clever, hiding behind the door. Sidling out now, slams the door in his opponent's face. He seems to be going in through a sash window, I guess, at the back of the house. Now making his way in on Hammerschmidt in the courtyard. McCrudden making his way through. He's at a set of curtains. He gives the finger one more time. <laughs> Wonderful stuff there. Oh, McCrudden, great psychological play as we approach the end now. Now he's 
That's it. Oh, it's a... I think that's the cat flap. I think that's a cat flap in the place where the window was. So, uh, you know, we're not going to get too bed down into this one. But now we are at the final event of the evening and the scores are tied. So it'll come down to this event to decide this year's champion. It is, of course, the mimed tug of war. <laughs> Go competitors, take up their side of the rope. And we begin in three, two, one, and they're off. Who's gonna make the early gains? It looks like it is Von Hammersmith. McCrumlin in all sorts of trouble here, being pulled across. The fight back is on, and that is the best in sync. You guys have done it on filming night. Well done. That is really great stuff now. A stalemate developing between these two great competitors. Neither willing to give nor take an inch in this epic battle of the mind. But something's gotta give, and it's gotta give quick. It looks like it's McCrumlin. He has an idea. He takes the rope, he ties it to his genitals. What is happening? It's a crotch pull! Incredible work! This is terrible stuff now for Von Hammerschmidt. He's in big trouble. Disco fever happening here. What is gonna happen? It's gotta be Von Hammerschmidt. He's gonna do something. He has an idea. He takes the rope. He flicks it into the groin of his opponents. Wonderful work there. And the championship to Von Hammerschmidt. Wonderful work there from the Icelandic giant. I was doing nothing so tiring. I'm out of breath. I'm lifting nothing. <laughs> Pulling nothing. Pulling nothing. What is this? Right here. You gave it right. roll. Oh, you got a few stools there. You've got yeah, one there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're now Xing Shang, will we? I ah, think so. Sure, oh, yeah. why not? The night that's in it. Walk a joke. Oh, Jesus. Are you all right there? Scrant, scrant. Did you get electrocuted, <laughs> did you? It's fine, fine scrant. At least we're not filming it tonight. Scrant, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, fair play to us. No. <laughs> Do you know what I think I might do? Yeah, go on, boy. I think I might put my foot up on the stool like this. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Help me get into it a bit more, uh, you know? Relax a bit, you're too uptight. You're, here, open a button, you know? What do you reckon? Back. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyone? Now, that'll, that'll dry out the pits, all right. Okay, no. You're some bollocks, Massey, yeah, you know? Right, you know. <laughs> It might be, it might be. <laughs> All right, now fair play to you. So this, um, this song, <laughs> this song that we're going to do now, uh, when we wrote this show two years ago, you know, it was kind of a topical thing, and then, well, we got delayed with the pandemic and all that jazz. All right. and, well, uh, basically, two years ago, there was no way in hell we thought that we'd still be able to do this song uh, today. Uh, I love you too, but... Um, <laughs> that's beside you're the a point. man. <laughs> well, I am, and uh, that's my wife, uh, but... Um, fair enough. Sheila, how are you? She's very supportive, you know. Uh, but no, there was, we just didn't think two years ago we'd be able to do this song today. But uh, fair play to the Brits for keeping it relevant. Um, <laughs> but this here is the Brexit song, all right? Here we go. At Brexit, they got frustrated. Oh, they did. As it was dragged out and non-stop debated. Still at it. So we Irish, we feel obligated. We do to explain to them one simple fact. True enough. That, that we don't understand how the English can see. After all their experience colonially, the one thing that's clear from their history is that it's hard to break free from a union. It's awful hard to break free from a union, lads. Ah, that's true. So wouldn't we know all about that in our little island? We would indeed. In Ireland for hundreds of years we tried We even left part of the country behind So we can't understand all the English surprise That it's hard to break free from a union What about India, lads? Oh, India was a biggie After 200 years being occupied The British, they finally stepped aside When asked Mahatma Gandhi replied It is one of life's undeniable facts <laughs> And it's hard to break free from a union. What about the lads down under? Oh, the Australians! Separated by thousands of miles of sea, they still have the Queen on their currency. It should have been Crocodile Dundee. But it's hard to break free from a union. Then there was the Egyptians. Oh, yeah, we won't forget them. After 100 years of freedom, their shit's still in the British Museum. Even Tutankhamun's grandson had to pay in to see him. 
but it's, it's hard, hard to, to break free from, from the union. But should they weren't the only countries in fairness, Not by a long shot. Botswana, Bahrain, Qatar, and Nauru, New Zealand, Nigeria, Pakistan, too. Say it's a never chase and Palestine, Sri Lanka, and Malta all to their time. My armor is only Kuwait, Kenya, Jordan, Iraq, and Kuwait, Guyana, Granada, Fiji, and Sudan, Jamaica, Malawi, to gain the plan. There's loads more countries, Massey. You're just going to have to speed her up. Belize, Barbados, Bahamas, Canada, Cyprus, Dominica, Togo, South Africa, Solomon Lines, Ghana, Malaysia, Libya, Croatia, Gamma, the Gabby, Yemen, Tanzania, Tuvalu, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaza, Nazi, Trinidad, the Vegas, Mosul, and the Solution, UE, USA, and Tiguan, Bermuda, Afghanistan, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines! Yes, it's hard to break free from a union. Oh, laddie boys, that's one hell of a list. Thanks be to Jesus for Wikipedia. That's the one. Tin whistle solo. Here we go. <laughs> so believe when we say that we know how you feel But please stop debating the deal is the deal and now you've no truck drivers, it's hard to conceal. Well, well of course, uh, looking at, at the facts as, as they are uh, now, uh, it, it's easy to see the, 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 the place uh, you find yourself in. Uh, uh, well, of course, uh, within Pe Peppa Pig world, it is easy to see. Uh, the, 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 it is quite hard to, to, to get away with having a party whenever the fuck you want. And uh, it, it, it is very hard to uh, break free uh, from. Oh, you did. Now, now we know it's not our fight to fight And leave or a pain when we don't give a shit But it's still ruining the news every single night Why lads? Cause it's hard to make from a union Hey! Their place is known. Their place is known. The best of luck to them. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. you're very kind. I hope they figure it out. You're very kind. A long road now. That's the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll bring these stools up. Oh, fair play to Massey. Are we all, we all called Massey, are we? I think we are. I think we, I think we might we've be. Been, we've been calling each other Massey. Ara. 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 The three Masseys. <laughs> Jesus, the camera's here. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd just forgotten about them. I felt less self-conscious, but then they're back again. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the Sean Flanagan Show. <laughs> My agent details are. are, are... Oh, wait, sir. No. <laughs> uh, 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 Johnny! Johnny! I'm over here! I, uh, I can't see you through the snow! Follow my voice! Johnny! Johnny! Yes! Yes! I'm freezing! This is the worst statue ever! What? Mount Everest was a shit idea for a stag! <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. God, I'm the worst best man ever! Um, where's Kenneth? He's dead! <laughs> Uh, uh, ow! He froze to death! Uh, but, but why? You made him wear a mankini! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I just thought, you know, six guys on, on top of Mount Everest would be something a bit different, you know? Everyone is dead! Yeah. Uh, even Murph! I haven't seen Murph since the ice wall! He refused to put down the cans! Yeah. That guy really is some man for the session! We have to get out of here or we're going to die! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Where's Kenneth? He's dead. Lightweight? <laughs> no, you idiot. He froze to death. What? A little bitch. <laughs> we have to get out of here. No way. He's still drinking. Chug, 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 chug. He's dead, you idiot. He froze. No! He still owed me for the hostel. <laughs> oh, we have to go now. OK, it's this way. Merv, it's this way. No, I'm pretty sure it's this way. What are you talking about? I'm pretty sure coppers is this way. Merv! What is it, Captain? It's the middle of the night. Yes, sir. We, we, we captured something. We... Are, you, are you okay, yes. General? Still covered in a bit of beer from... <laughs> sir, Later you're on. supposed to be on duty. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, don't you talk down to me, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you reek it's of alcohol. It's the middle of the night, okay? <laughs> Can't let off a little bit of steam these days, huh? It's just because I saw you drive the tank here, sir. <laughs> well, it's not a scratch on it. <laughs> Sir, we should start the sketch again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, though, what I don't understand out of all this is there was no need to open the can. <laughs> there was no need. Okay. This way, General, sir. Right, yeah, yeah. What's this? It's the middle of the night. Very good. It, it is, sir. <laughs> I think I drank a little bit too much of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> it just seems unusual of all the nights you would do this. <laughs> but I understand why you did it. I'm sorry, make it a little bit more realistic. I'm fine, don't worry. You can go. <laughs> Sir, I've just got a message from HQ. Yeah. We should start the sketch again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this way, General. <laughs> Please. Please. Yeah, I found something back here. <laughs> Sir. Sir, this makes no sense contextually. <laughs> You're creating narrative strands we can't possibly tie together. I know, they don't even sell this in America. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's him I feel sorry for. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, Prime Captain. You were saying it's the middle of the night. Yes, sir. We've yeah. captured something we thought you might want to have a look at. Okay. It's right through that glass. <laughs> My God. Do we know what it is yet? No, sir. We've never seen anything like it before. But it appears to be calling itself an actor. An actor? Yes, sir. What the hell's an actor? We don't know, sir. A man picked it up this morning waiting tables in Donnybrook. <laughs> we think it could have some military value. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> the tongue, the teeth, the tip of the lips. <laughs> Leo Baradka. Leo Baradka. <laughs> What the hell's it doing? I don't know, sir. It does this every morning for 15 minutes and then it demands honey and lemon. Does anyone have a lozenge? My throat, it yearns for a lozenge. Well, wait a minute. Is it contagious? Yes, sir. It is, but only to people who don't want to get a real job. <laughs> Actor, this is General Walter Blake. Who are you? <laughs> you mean you don't know? 
who I am? <laughs> Don't play games with me, prisoner. Oh, I'm your prisoner, am I, General? Well, who have you really captured? Is it I, Richard Chanley, the world's greatest actor? Or perhaps all you've managed to capture <laughs> is a grieving Italian man. Mamma mia, I'm so sad. Look at what you're making me do. Jesus Christ, he's a completely different person now. We don't know how he's doing it, sir. <laughs> Perhaps, General, all you've managed to capture is an overly excited German man. <laughs> Sweet Mother Mary of Jesus, that's so accurate. I know, sir. Uh, perhaps, General, all you've captured <laughs> is a tree. He's <laughs> got a tree now! I don't understand how he's doing it, sir. Swoosh, swoosh. Swoosh, swoosh. This is swooshing. He's swooshing, sir. I can sir. see it swooshing. Swoosh. Sir, I don't know how he could be swooshing. There's no wind in that room. Swoosh. <laughs> God, the Germans get a hold of this, we're screwed. Yes, sir. The military applications are endless. I know, sir. <laughs> Actor, how did you obtain this power? <laughs> Darling, you don't obtain it. It's acting. It's in the bones. All right, have his bones removed and examined. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, he must have some sort of weakness. Yes, sir, he does. We've discovered a way to make him feel pain. Watch what happens when I play this particular sound. Oh, ah, no! <laughs> Please don't make me go back there, right? I can't, I won't, you don't know what you're doing, I... If you're looking for car insurance, you've come to the right place. Here at Donkey Insurance, we have thousands of offers. You'd be an ass not to visit. e oh, e oh, e oh. <laughs> oh, please, please make it stop. Oh, God, I'll do anything, <laughs> even panto. <laughs> Oh, no, you won't. <gasps> oh, yes, I will. <laughs> no, you're gonna come work for us, actor. Oh, a job. <laughs> and I've got the perfect mission for your skills. Oh. Herr Commandant, we have the allies in the palm of our hands. Yeah, the men are ready and willing. Nothing will stand in our way. Swell, 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 swell. We cannot let the Americans infiltrate us once more. Sir, 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 sir. We must be very careful this time. Sir, sir, sir. Hey, Commandant, do you hear something? Sir. Mine. Well, all I hear is the swooshing of trees. Sir. But don't you find it odd, the swooshing? Sir. Given we are in a submarine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, we're all very welcome along now to Vienna, Austria, here in the Royal Concert Hall. <laughs> very exciting. Of course, today we are auditioning for the 1822 Spring Programme. <laughs> With Papa. Now, up first we have a musical duo. <laughs> Ludwig von Beethoven and Barry. <laughs> Hello, guten Tag. Ah. Ich heiße Ludwig von Beethoven. Ah, guten Tag. How are you? I'm Barty. <laughs> Super. How's okay. it going? Well, good. Together we are... Beethoven and Barty. <laughs> Ludwig van Beethoven and the Bachy. <laughs> okay, oh. wonderful. And uh, what exactly is it that you do, uh, Beethoven and the Bachy? Good question. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, Roy. Uh, Beethoven here, he does be doing a little bit of piano. Do you know what I mean? Guilty. Yeah, yeah. And I do be doing the lyrics, you know, spitting the rhymes and all that, you know what I mean? Pew, pew, pew. Dropping truth bombs everywhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> Boost you. <laughs> what? Okay. That's unusual. Um, yeah. But, you know, progressive perhaps. Uh, yeah, and uh, why is it you think you should perform here in the royal court of King Francis I? Oh. When they will listen, you know what I mean? Like the, the, uh, the Austrian music scene is dead. Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Okay. You know what I mean. 
Okay, well, you're obviously a very confident young man. Um, oh, I should say that tonight, uh, during the judgment for this musical audition, it will not just be me alone. No, 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 no. Very exciting. I didn't want to tell anybody about this. We have Northern Ireland's most incredible export, the greatest conductor ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Dorothy. Oh incredible, my God. wonderful. Oh, die Dorothy. Ooh. Very exciting. Oh, oh wow. my God, oh. he's so excited. I'm totally fanboying right now. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, if you are ready, we yeah? would love to hear what you have. Okay, I will my piano be collecting. In Schuldigung. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go very that. good, very good. This is very exciting. <laughs> um, Barry? Yeah. Uh, if you have... long. Oh, good, thank you, Sean. Yeah. Yes, um, I, I was just about to say, if you have any vocal preparations, uh, now is a wonderful time to do that. Huh? Um, <laughs> if you wish to do a, a vocal warm-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Beethoven and Buddy. And surely go. Okay. Piano coming through. Okay. Okay. First, I have to power on my 18th century piano. <laughs> Give me the red light like a good boy. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This first piece that we're playing as Ludwig van Beethoven und der Bari is called the Moonlight Sonata. And it's a banger. <laughs> okay. Well, whenever you are ready. Moonlight Sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven und der Bari. <laughs> Biscuits are nice. I like to eat them. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you yeah. Sam. Um, <clears throat> Super. Yes. Eins, zwei, zusammen. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you, Sean. Yeah. Um, that was uh, very un unusual. I uh, suppose. Danke. Two very different styles. Yeah. I would say, um, no, enough uh, from me. Uh, Dorothy, how did you feel about this performance? It was very good. I knew you would say that. Uh, oh my God, the Dorothy! <laughs> you spoil me. Yeah, okay, I'm not. I, oh, well, look, okay, I'll tell you what. I, because Dorothy has like given it? you the backing, I will ask for one more piece. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's just this, yes, have you got one? Yeah, we've got, we've got the Fifth Symphony one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute chewing. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. yeah totally yeah, yeah. chewing. Oh, very good, yeah. The yeah. Fifth Symphony it's by Ludwig van Beethoven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Fifth Symphony by Ludwig van Beethoven und der Paris. <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei. I want a biscuit. Oh, oh. I want a biscuit. Oh, I want a biggie to be eating on my bread. A chocolate piggy, it could be a chocolate cake. A chocolate piggy, and a tea. Chocolate piggy, cup of tea. Chocolate berries, my routine. I'm the Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, Thanks, Schmacken. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, that um, that was. That was weird. Um, I, I, again, about biscuits. I, I would like to hear this piece again. I do think sure. there's potential in it, him? except this time I would like to hear it without lyrics. <laughs> oh, I am terribly sorry. They are tuning the organ in the next room, and sometimes the sound it uh, it does bleed in yeah. through these walls. Yeah. But uh, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, we can play it again. No words. No words. Without just as an experiment. Okay. Okay. Crazy science man. Okay. Thank you, Sean. I think this is, this would be for the better. Okay. Okay. Eins, zwei, drei. Da, 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 da. Oh, Barry. Da, 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 da. No, no. Okay, thank you, Sean. No, good cool now. No, guys, okay. Beethoven. Um, Barry, uh, thank you. Nein. Okay, um, oh, okay, this is the part of my job I, I, I have to. Okay, Beethoven, I think you are incredible. Okay, I think you have so much potential for what you are doing on the Club Nova. Oh Wonderful, very exciting. I see a big future for you within music. Barry? <laughs> Barry, you're shit, okay? And I hate to say it. Okay, that sounds in tune. Thank you very much. You couldn't leave it there. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm not shit. Well, you are a bit in shit. 
If anyone's shit, he's shit. Was? Yeah, come on, like, you know what I mean? I'm not scheiss. I'm carrying this ship here. If you be scheiss. Do be double scheiss. I'm double scheiss. Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're tri triple scheiss. Triple choice? Triple choice. Triple, triple choice, yeah. Whatever, yeah. I'm not, yeah. Listen, come on here. Are uh, you deaf? Kay. Not yet. <laughs> How do you get that joke and you do not get this joke? <laughs> Unfathomable. Where's your level, audience? Keep up. <laughs> okay. It does not, I'm sorry, uh, but I just don't, It is not really gelling. I think. I think. I think, apart from that, Fulman, <laughs> I think that you should leave. Okay, easy on the organ, guys! <laughs> oh, oh, you know, I don't, I don't need this. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, feeder saying. <gasps> yeah. Learned a bit of German, didn't I? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do, do best, I'm gross, fucker. Oh, oh okay, so, yeah. okay, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. Barry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took him five sympathies, come up with a decent one. Okay, Barry, Barry. Joker. That you is not nice. You should have had the first one. Useless. Okay, Barry, please. Boo, 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 boo. Barry? Barry? <laughs> yeah. Hi, thanks, Matt. <laughs> Barry, thank you. I think we have to leave now, though. You too. Oh, my God. Oh, that was... That was so awkward. And did you get the smell of alcohol <laughs> from him? Yeah. I, I think he was guzzling on the I, job. Guzzling? Yeah, guzzling. It's a verb. Look it up. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, ich guzzle. I guzzle. You guzzle. Du guzzlest. Wir guzzlen. Sie guzzlen. Sie guzzlen. I will guzzle, ich werde guzzlen. <laughs> but not now, because I'm not thirsty. Wow. What is... What is I would guzzle? Ich würde guzzle. <laughs> wow. Well, good. Your command of the language, incredible. Thank you, Sean. But look, I think without Barry is the way forward oh my for God, you as a I solo. I will flourish. Yeah. He was a ne negative influence on my life. Yeah. Always eating all my food. What? I open the refrigerator in the morning. <laughs> And he has eaten all of my milk, all of my um, orange, all of my apple, all of my burgers. Oh, that's my like burgers. Yes, <laughs> the burgers are all gone from Barry. Gobbling all the burgers. Oh, gobbling. Yeah, gobbling the burgers and guzzling my orange juice. Wow. He's a schwein. He's a schwein in, my, in the trough of my refrigerator with his schnaut gobbling. I've gone too far. Yeah, well, maybe not. Eh? Yeah. It sounds like he was really bringing you down. Yeah, he was. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The future, I think, will be from Beethoven Danke. by himself, you know? Do you know, because it worked for Mozart when he got rid of Michal. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It just didn't work. Yeah, it's no, just a clung. clash of styles. And always about the biscuits. Why always about the biscuits? I don't know. Very strange. Well, look, I, I think I would love to hear what you can do. Uh, do you have anything you have um, uh, written your, by yourself? Yes, I have one piece left that is, is um, the favorite piece that ich habe ever written. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this piece is called Für Elise. Für Elise? Yeah. Well, this is very exciting. Für Elise by Ludwig van Beethoven. <laughs> Und Herr Yamaha. Not now. <laughs> For at least by Ludwig van Beethoven. I would like some cake and custard cream. I know, why is it biscuits? It's almost biscuits. biscuits. I don't understand. I would like some cake and custard cream. Everybody, all the kids now off the bus, out, out, wherever you are. Reen, Oshin, Leah, Nancy, Adam, come on, come on, come on now. Everybody, all right. Very good. Now, I don't want anyone wandering off into the forest, all right? You are to hold your partner's hands, okay? Adam, hold my hand. No. no. Adam, that's me. I don't want to hold her hand. You have to hold each other's hands, okay? Can, can I hold your hand instead, Mr. O'Neill? No, you cannot hold my hand, no. Why? Because of the guidelines, all right? The guidelines? Yes, there are new school guidelines on the issue. Mr. O'Neill, I'm sad. Adam wouldn't hold my hand. 
Can I have a hug? What? No, Nancy, Nancy, stop right there. Nancy, Nancy, you can have a handshake. What? How can I have a handshake, but you can't hold my hand? Because of the guidelines, OK? The guidelines are our friends, OK? Can you take a photo then, please? I can indeed. Adam, get right. in. OK, photo, here we are. Ready? And... There you are. There you <laughs> go. He looked like... Hey, we're not in it. Yes, I know, the guidelines, all right? Now... <laughs> Look around you, huh? Look, this is nature at its rawest, you know? A return to the wild, eh? Yay! Let's take off all our clothes! Well, yeah. no! No, your clothes will remain on at all times! Because of the good Lord. Because of basic decency, all right? Oh, Mr. Neil, Mr. Neil, can I please use the toilet before we go into the forest? I'm sorry, Nancy, your mother did not fill out the form. You're just going to have to hold it in, all right? Now... <laughs> no, listen to that. Listen to that. What do you hear? Nothing. Nothing. Well, you don't hear anything, really. No. All right. Now, uh, remember, what did I say on the bus? Um, everyone off the bus. No, na Nancy, no. No, before that. Put that down, Liam. No, Adam, no. That's not what I'm talking you about. You shouldn't be calling me at work. We're separated. No, no that's no. That's na na um, uh, no, no, no. And that you shouldn't be listening. That was a private... Conversation. We're okay. not divorced, we're separated. Yeah, okay, Adam, let's not. Uh, now. He's hardly your boyfriend, you only know him a wet week. Now, uh, now, now, that's how. Do, you have a very fine memory for. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for your mother, we wouldn't be in this situation. Okay, Adam, thank you. Okay, we're finished now with that. You know what I meant. Okay? Yes? And I want my stereo back. Okay. <laughs> that's not what we're talking about here. All right? Remember. I gave the dog away. Okay, <laughs> listen now. N what did I say about nature, remember? Oh yeah, oh, yeah I do remember. Yes, nature has? Nature has... M music. Music. Nature has music for... For... For, for those? Those. Nature has music for those who? Who? Who, uh, who, who? Ears. N not... <laughs> nature has music for those who listen. 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 Yes, well done, Nancy, very good. Poems are shite. Adam, <laughs> you watch that language. That's not nice, Adam. I thought it was a lovely poem. Right, thank you, I Nancy. thought it was beautiful. OK. Mr O'Neill, you really touched me. No, 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 You mean, Nancy, you mean that the words had an effect on you? You touched me. Yeah, no, no, we don't, we don't say it like that, Nancy. Yeah, you touched me too. Now, don't you start, all right? No, that's, that's Mr O'Neill, you touched everyone on the bus. I didn't touch anyone! That's a complete fucking... With, uh, with the dog. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a, school, a school trip. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. He touched me. OK, just stop it now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> just forget about the poem. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's our secret. It's a secret. No, it's not. No, it's not a secret. No, there's no. No, it's not. We don't have secrets, guys. There's no... There's no there's sweep no... it under the carpet. No, we're not sweeping. There's no carpet. Just... Oh, just find something for the nature table, all right? Get down. Nature, nature table. table. Oh, come oh. on, Adam. Oh. Oh, I found an acorn. An acorn, very good. I found a pine. Na Nancy, put that down. <laughs> I'm an adult. I say silly things now. Uh, Nancy, you put that down, all right? Sorry. OK, now, come on, kids, all right? Stop messing around. All the kids, back up now. Show me what you found, OK? Adam, come on. Come on now, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, Oshin, come on. Now, come on. Adam, Nancy, one, two, three. One, one, two, two. Oh, no. No, 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 no! No! We're missing a kid! We're missing a kid! No, 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 where? Where is he? Where, where's the new boy? He came in from Cork. Where is he? <laughs> Paul! 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 Where are you, Paul? Paul! 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 Mr. O'Neill, yes. look! There he is! Oh, for God's sake, Paul! <laughs> Paul, you have a... Get up here immediately, Paul. Up here right now, Paul. Young man! Young... Young... Young man, do not make me come down there. Young... Young man, no! You cannot... Give me your hand, young man. You cannot go wandering. I will fucking do it, Paul. Now, come on. <laughs> Don't you come now, Paul. Don't you... Now. <laughs> young man. The cheek of you. Wandering off into the forest. Disobeying. Well... <laughs>
That is language that no child should know, Paul, what you just said to me right now. All right. Now, wonder I couldn't find you. Where is your high-vis jacket? It's gone. It's vanished, has it? Here it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is now. That should feel familiar, shouldn't it? Now, no, wait, no, don't. Now, now, young man. <laughs> young man, now, but, young man. Where did you know? But, how did, now, young, you have to go, get back there, young man. Get back there, young man. Young, I tell you, in all my days, I have never had this much problems from a student, all right? <laughs> now, Paul, right. Yes, yes, I really want you to do this, all right? Now. <laughs> Just don't we'll dislocate it. Jesus, okay, Jesus now. Christ, oh, oh, stop oh. resisting. Jesus, me fucking finger. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, isn't that better? Now we can see you perfectly. Mr. We just do that then. We chuck it in. Perfect. That's so much better. Now. Mr. Neil, know, can we play a game before the bus comes? Your, your previous school, Paul, told me that you were trouble, but I didn't believe them until now. <laughs> Mr. Neil, can we play a game before the bus comes? I, well, we don't have much time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we play chasing? Oh, chasing. yeah. Let's, I, let's play kiss chasing. I'm on. No, 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 don't worry now, Paul, no, Nancy. <laughs> no, no, Nancy. Okay, Paul's on. Everyone run away. Right, no. Nancy, you're not... Run away. <laughs> I'm pregnant. You're not, you're not pregnant. I oh, am. Yeah. Nancy, that's not how that works. All yes, right? it is. God's sake. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm pregnant Paul. too. You're not just... <laughs> we're not playing kiss chasing. It's not allowed. Uh, uh, let's play hide and seek. Right, hide and seek. Find anything. Uh, I'm on. Okay, you want to hide? Hide, Paul. Right, right, everybody hide, hide, one, hide. So one, this one, way, one. Two, this way, Paul. Yeah. Come on. Three. Right. Five, six, right. seven, eight, nine. I didn't specify a number. <laughs> nine. <laughs> We're all alone. <laughs> This is a great place to hide, isn't it, Paul? <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah, this is a great place to hide, Nancy. <laughs> wow, you really nailed the accent. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this is pure cork. I really fancy you, Paul. Oh, just I really fancy you too, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, I think you're the prettiest girl in the entire class. Really? Oh, what? absolutely, you're absolutely gorgeous. Really? Yeah, you're a stunner. What about that other woman that you have? Uh, uh, what? What about that other woman at the show? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, eh. Uh, right. I don't give a shit about her. Uh, you're such a bad boy. Oh, that's right. Uh, they call me the foreman. That's right. <laughs> Can I have a kiss, Paul? A kiss? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Um, oh, God, I'm getting all sweaty. Um, <laughs> what about the guidelines? Um, screw the guidelines. Oh, Jesus, Nancy. <laughs> all right, now, come on, kids. All the kids out, 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 wherever you are. Now, come on. What? What is this? What is this? What is going on back there? We were playing a game. Fell over. I think you fell over. By eye, you fell over. You tell me the truth. You tell me what happened back. Where did you get that drink? That's... Hold on. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Uh, 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 Adam? Ad Paul, stop drinking. Adam? Adam, this is very important. You listen to me right now. Adam, who is that strange man? I don't know. He found me in the forest. The fucking guidelines! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the wonderful Paul! <laughs> I'm so this <laughs> man! Thank you very much, Paul. Give it up for Paul, guys. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's some man for a pint, I'll tell you now. <laughs> Paul, oh. some of the best backstage chat I've ever had. <laughs> Just with Paul. The first one was like, you're some bollocks. Yes. And then it was, can I have a can? I was like, yeah. Really, can I have a car? 
They're not expensive, Paul. You can, you can have them. Grand. He's like, to be honest, I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> very, very brave. Come on, Paul. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> um, would you mind now, young man, give me a hand now with this piano now? Come on now. Don't mope. I'm not moping. You I'm are. Walking. Mo move it, mister. Up now, we go. You changed character so drastically there. Yes, I did now. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Stop <laughs> it. Sorry, sorry, Mom. Sorry. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry. No. Okay. A bump, bump, biddy bump, bump. Can I tell you something? Son, you can talk to me anytime. Your mother's always listening. Tell me, darling, what's on your mind? I met a girl who likes me. She likes me for who I am. She's smart and cool and funny. And I want to make her mine. There'll be plenty of time for girlfriends When you finish school at least When you get a degree and a job and a mortgage Or maybe just become a priest Mom, I really want a girlfriend That's just the way I feel I'm tired of practicing with a mirror I want to kiss someone for real Son, I hope you're joking Cause that's how disease is spread Now finish off your bottled milk And toddle off to bed Mum, I'm not a baby I don't have to do my ABCs I'm tired of wearing Velcro shoes And denim dungarees I'm 43 and balding It's time that I grow up I'm off to pack my toys away and I'm never coming back. <laughs> no, no, darling, I didn't mean it, pet. I'm sorry, darling. Son, I'm sorry for being selfish. It's just I don't want you to go to the arms of another woman and leave your mother here all alone. Mary, I'm still here. <laughs> I haven't gone away. To have my say. Go on then, Paddy, have your say for feck's sake. <laughs> Makes you feel any better. You have to let him go. He's almost 43. If we keep him any longer, he could struggle socially. But, Paddy, it's a dangerous world out there. Well, that's true. With alcohol and heroin. And terrorists with bazookas, murderers and muggers, and swimming pool barucas, <laughs> rising carbon levels, and children smoking crack, religious persecution, and flare jeans on the comeback. <laughs> but Mary, I think he loves her, and soon they may. He should only think of other women when his mother's dead. You gotta let him go. He's just a boy. He's 43. I only saw. No, Mary, we had three. Yes, technically, but when he's gone, what will I have? You'll still have me. I'm a virgin. It's just me. 
I packed my toys, I'm ready to leave. Oh, darling, please. There's no need. I'm sorry for being such a witch. Tell me all about your little bitch. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Mary, that's it. Can't you well, I'm sorry, that? Patrick. It's just we don't know the first thing about this girl. Well, that's true. Her name is Dorothy. You're still in character, okay. Yeah. I think I'm stuck like this, Patty. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. He's gone now. That's right, he's flies. Well gone. Now it's just been a long time. Come oh, on. It has now. We just have just the two of us near. We've got the house to ourselves. Oh well, yes. The house all to ourselves now. Right, yeah. We can finally I think what you know what, yeah. Give the place a good clean. That's right, that's what I was thinking. I mean, start with that bedroom of his. <laughs> Absolute. Disgrace, what is disgrace. Get the hazmat suit on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're nearly coming to the end of our time with you guys here in Vicar Street. <laughs> Mixed opinions there. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Having their say. Uh, but before we uh, do go, we have just some important things to oh, say. Oh, yeah, we, yes. we wanted to say, um, well, was, uh, first of all, thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting us over the last two years. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for that. That uh, means a, an awful lot to us. Um, OK, I can't, because I know I'm going to forget this, so I have to say it now. Um, the venue of Assos tell you guys, um, yeah. if, when you're leaving tonight, especially those of you uh, on the kind of the ground floor area here, if you could make sure that you leave through that exit just over there in the corner, just down on my left there, because that goes directly past our merch table. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that... Sweet to shame. There we go. Uh, <laughs> no, we do have an announcement, though, before we go. Because we, we have to... I think it would be important to do this. We should... Let them know. Let them know what I, yeah, yeah. yeah, we thought maybe, you know, with this show, some people yeah. might be wondering what happened to some of the characters that they met, yeah, you know, from the show. Absolutely. Uh, we thought we might try and... Maybe you could explain that with the help of some appropriate music, please. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Great. That's nice. So, we, you happy? Y yes. Okay, see you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did happen to some of the characters that we met from tonight's show? Well, Ludwig van Beethoven went on to become one of the world's greatest ever composers, composing many, many classics, including this piece that we're listening to right now. As for Barry, he did five years in the joy for aggravated assault. <laughs> Richard Shanley, the award-winning actor, was eventually released by the US military and went on to a starring career in Fair City. <laughs> but what of Paul from Cork? Well, after the show tonight, he was waiting for me outside the venue. <laughs> Which I'm slightly worried about. <laughs> I've never been called a bollocks so many times in such a short space of time. 
Oh, I'm looking forward to going to Cork next week in gigging. <laughs> Jesus. All right. But what a Brexit. Well, unfortunately, it dragged out for years and years and years. But that was much to the delight of three Irishmen who spent an awful long time writing and rehearsing that song. <laughs> long may it continue. But there is still one story whose ending is yet unwritten. And we would like to resolve that for you right now.